welcome back returning viewers and welcome to you new viewers now today we're going to be making another exciting flower spot for you using sea stone we want to start by greasing that container to ensure that there is no sticking of the cement to the plastic okay so next you want to get your cement mixture ready your regular fine granite sand is good enough for this job now you want to mix this about two to one razor because you want to keep it as rich as possible yes this is looking good so you don't want it to be too watery or too dry you want to keep it as an oatmeal consistency so for the base of the pot you want to pour about an inch and a half of mixture the container to release air bubbles and to get your mixture nice and level. After leaving the mixture to set for a few minutes, it's now time to set your stones. So you want to place them vertically along the side of the container, sticking them into that mixture. So this is the most technical part of the job. You have to skillfully place that mixture on top of those stones. So here we are, we are the final lane of this stone process. Now I choose a more elongated shaped stone just to give it, to bring off that look and to give it a more crown like look at the top. Now that the layering of the stones are all finished, you want to make sure that they won't fall apart in the future. So here I'm using a 1 inch brush with the same mixture. You could make this mixture a little bit more watery, probably add some more cement to it. And you want to go ahead and seal those joints on the inside.
So now that our pot is out of the container, you want to do the same thing that you did in, on the inside. You want to seal up those joints and to bring up the aesthetic. So to get my end product looking like this, I use a piece of sponge to carefully wipe out the stones and to smooth out those joints. So here we are for my final presentation. I just choose a fine leaf plant because you don't want to use anything that is going to overpower that pot. I also decided to leave it unpainted because I love the natural look of the stones. So you have made it this far. Thanks for watching my video. And uh, if you have not already subscribed, please remember to do so. Thank you.